In this video, we're going to drill into the SDM Software Group Policy Reporting Pack 3.0 Inventory and Analysis feature. You can access the Group Policy Inventory and Analysis feature from the Comparison and Analysis tab by clicking the Inventory and Analysis button. This is the capability previously in our GPO Exporter product. Group Policy Inventory and Analysis is designed to give you insights into how Group Policy settings are deployed in your environment and provide a quick path to finding best practices and optimization of your group policy setting. You can perform an export of either individual GPOs or the whole domain. Let's do the individual GPO analysis first. I can choose GPOs based on their name, and I can filter this list if I need to, or I can switch the view around to show all GPOs based on where they're linked. For example, I can drill into the Engineering Workstations OU, right-click the OU, and select Select All Inherited. This picks all of the GPOs that are inherited by this OU, places them in the right-hand side of the screen. I can then click Next to select which policy areas I want to report on. In this case, I'll report on all of them, and then go ahead and perform the export. When the export is complete, I can see all of the settings within this view. I can also filter the view based on conflicting settings, duplicate settings, not conflicting, not duplicate, or not conflicting and not duplicate. So this gives me a lot of opportunities to look for things like conflicting and duplicate settings. I can also search and filter this view. So for example, if I wanted to look for entries containing the word password, I can search using the search feature, or I can select filter search term to only show the policies that contain the word password. I can save this listing to a group policy reporting pack snapshot file. Snapshot files are essentially CSV files that allow you to save off this current state of these GPOs and that those files can then be reloaded into the inventory and analysis tool used in our group policy comparison tool to compare snapshots to each other or compare snapshots to live or backed up GPOs or can be fed into our GPO migrator solution to perform migrations and consolidations of GPOs. I'm going to go ahead and give this snapshot a name and save it off. And now I've got this collection of settings saved off. I can do the same thing with the filtering view. For example, I can just select the filtered settings and save off those as a snapshot so that I have just a subset of the settings that I'm working with. And I can also report on any of the views that are currently in the display. So in this case, I can generate a report of the conflicting GPOs which can then be output to Excel, PDF, or Word. Now another option I have is to be able to perform a whole domain analysis by selecting the Domain Analysis button. The Domain Analysis button looks at all GPOs in the domain and performs a detailed analysis of those settings. Note that this can take a long time to run in large environments. In this environment of about 550 GPOs, it will take approximately 10 minutes to run given my current hardware and it warns me that this could take a while. When the report is complete, what you see is, what you see in front of you on the screen is this grid view of all the settings available in the domain, and I can select through those settings, and on the left you see that there's an OU structure for the domain that I chose that corresponds to the GPOs that are in the domain. And down below, you see a pane that includes the delegation or the permissions on each individual GPO as I select it. Now, if I select an OU on the left-hand pane, and in this case, I'm selecting that same engineering workstations OU, the view is automatically filtered to show just the GPOs and settings that are inherited by that. You can toggle this show inherited GPOs option to remove the inherited GPOs, but essentially all inherited GPOs are found. And when you select one, you see the delegation on that GPO. And if there are any WMI filters on that GPO, you'll see those as well. So in this view, you have the ability to see all of the effective settings at each level of the OU. And you can again filter it based on conflicting settings, based on duplicate settings, whatever your filtering needs are. 
and the view is automatically updated to show just those particular settings. And then in this case, what I'm going to do is, if I want, I can filter further another OU. If I choose a different OU, I can the, the view changes, and I show just the settings for that different OU. And again, if I go down to the HR OU, which has block inheritance set on it, it's going to respect that block inheritance flag and only show me the GPOs that are linked to the block inheritance to the HROU. And of course, I can still use my filter searches, my searching of keywords, my filtering all within this view. And it's again, it's only focused on those GPOs related to the HROU currently. And I can then essentially save off this particular view of settings that I've selected here to a snapshot if I chose to do so. So a lot of flexibility in terms of analyzing the settings, finding out where settings have been implemented, and dynamically being able to see the settings within the OU. As you can see, the inventory and analysis feature has a lot of power to make quick work of analyzing GPO settings, how they're deployed, where they might be conflicting or duplicate across your OU structure without tedious and time-consuming manual reporting. Thanks for watching this video. Visit sdmsoftware.com to get an evaluation of the GP Reporting Pack products.